Hey everybody, welcome to another patch notes video. This week is titled World Switcher, Ring of God's Eye, and more. This week's patch notes is for May 21st, 2015. So let's get right to it. First off, we have the World Switcher update, which is now found in the logout interface. So once you click the button you normally would to get to the logout button, it also has another button right below it titled World Switcher. And then once you click that, you will be able to switch to another world. So this works, I believe, pretty similarly to the OS Buddy World Switcher. Basically, just click on another world you want to go to, and um, you have to make sure, obviously, that you're not in combat. And they also have something else in here saying, if you switch worlds too quickly, you may not be able to switch again. So this might be a little slower than world hopping if you're going through like 10, 20 different worlds. OS Buddy might still be the better option. Uh, moving on here, we've got the Ring of God's Eye, which can now be imbued at Nightmare Zone for 650k Nightmare Zone points, and you'll also need a Holy Wrench to imbue it. So uh, keep that in mind. And then once you imbue the ring, it gives you the Holy Wrench benefits, and it also gives you one more prayer point bonus than the standard Ring of Gods. And one thing to note here, the Holy Wrench, in case you guys have forgotten, gives you slightly more prayer points per dose of prayer pot that you sip, basically. Next up, a couple NPCs have been given right-click options to allow for faster checking of holiday items, repairing Barrow's equipment, and paying for access to the Blast Furnace. So those NPCs would be Bob and Lumbridge for the Barrow's equipment, Diango and Draenor for the holiday items, and the Blast Furnace for men, obviously for the Blast Furnace stuff. And then in other news, we have a couple interesting things here. First off, the uh, Kandoran Headgear 4 now has unlimited teleports to Sherlock. Second off, we have the Karumja Gloves 4, which can now teleport you directly to Duradel, which is pretty sweet if you're a high-level slayer. Uh, third, we have a right-click option that has been added to the ladder at the Dagonoth King's Lair, so you can see how many people are inside, which is pretty nice considering the fact that uh, you don't have to run in there and potentially mess up somebody's lure uh, just to see if somebody's actually in there. Fourth, we have the minigame grouping panel is now listed in alphabetical order, so you can potentially find what you're looking for a little bit faster. I'm not sure why they didn't do that to begin with. I'm guessing they were just trying to get it out as soon as they could. And we have, lastly, the Nardar Bank now has a bank deposit box. Which, I'm not sure how many of you guys actually do skill there, but hey, if you do, it now has a bank deposit box. Um, and the last thing I want to mention here is they mention, again, the Slayer Expansion dev blog. So if you guys haven't seen that, I will leave a link to it in the description if you'd like to go and see it. Basically, they, um, they're they pleased with the amount of feedback that they've gotten so far, but um, they're happy to take more, so if you're interested in leaving feedback or just want to see what it's all about, go ahead and click the link and check it out. Anyways, guys, I believe that is all for the patch notes, so if you have any comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, anything, please feel free to leave it in the comments as always, and I will try and get back to you. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next week's patch notes.